Hi, I'm Trisha Pine from RejoiceInYourVoice.com, home of the Complete Singer System, where I help people who are passionate about singing perform with more beauty, joy, and confidence. This is the video demonstration for part five in my five-part series, sharing creative ways to integrate your breath into your singing. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a simple lunge motion, activate your core breath, and create a more supported sound. So I am not going to talk a lot during this video demonstration, but this is simply to clarify all the step-by-step -step instructions that are above in the blog post. Very importantly, make sure that the physical motion and the exhale happen at the same time and that your body remains open and flexible. We don't want any locking down in the rib cage, in the top of the neck where it reaches the head, or in the jaw. We also want a very relaxed tongue. So keep lots of freedom and flexibility in your body as you do this. Start out getting very grounded in your breath. So I love to do this by allowing all the air to exhale, first of all, then pulling in a nice inhale where the lower abdominals expand naturally. Then on the sustained tone, that on the exhale, that's where I will start that motion. So let's first get connected to our breath. That was my inhale and my exhale. Now here's the exhale. You can see how the lower abdominals naturally expand as the air fills in. That's an ideal low abdominal breath. So now let's add a sustained tone. Okay, so now that we've got those basics down, let's now add in the lunge motion. Remembering that the exhale of that breath and the motion happen at the same time. All right, here we go. Now you can take this exercise across your entire, entire living room or apartment or studio. I'm going to do pretty much a standing lunge at this point, but when I'm working up in the studio, I love to cross the entire space. I love that forward momentum of the walking lunge. So here I'm gonna give you another view of that. So now, after you do the sustain sound, um, you may then add in a phrase of music that you're working on. Sometimes I will do this exercise with an entire song to see that I'm remaining flexible, that my lower abdominals are fully expanded, and that the breath and the motion are one. Okay, so let's try it with the phrase of music. And I could go on, right, all the way across the studio. So try that one more time. Let's listen to that sustained sound showing that the motion and that exhale with the sound happening at the same time. this exercise. It engages my body. It, I make sure that that expanded lower abdominals are also activated and the tone becomes very supported when I do this. Now, how would you apply this in a performance situation? Great question. So after I work the song with this type of motion, then I will stand in place and my body will physically remember those lower abdominal expansion, the movement that's happening, and I will then stand and sing with that same type of muscle memory, remembering right here and right here, which is great because then the body is fully integrated, fully connected, and then you can use that same type of motion, that same type of activity in your core 
when you're singing. All right, I'm Trisha Pine. Go play with this. Have fun. Let me know how it works for you. Always rejoice in your voice. Bye-bye.